In today's tutorial we are going to take a closer look at HubSpot and we are going to go over all of the important features so that you will actually know how to navigate around HubSpot. Now to get started HubSpot has a variety of different kind of features like their CRM website, their marketing hub, sales hub, service hub and so on. Now I will try to basically go over all of the features one by one so that you will know how to use everything inside the HubSpot app in as little time as possible. Now if you want to support my channel for completely free you can get yourself a free HubSpot trial using the link down below and if you are going to do that I'm going to get a small commission if you will eventually go for a paid plan. However if not no hard feelings. So to get started you will just have to click on get started free right here and then you will have to put in your email address that you will want to use for your HubSpot account. Now as for this video I will just um, basically use a temp mail as I want to show you the experience when first signing up to a HubSpot account. So to get started you will just have to basically verify this account. So just put in your very verification code right here and then click on next. Then you will have to put in your password. So I will just quickly do that and then once again put in next and then put in your name. So I will just put in Elias Krause. So we will have to answer the question, what industry are you in? So you can actually choose any kind of industry right here. However, if your industry isn't listed, you can also just put in other right here. Then you will have to put in your job role. I will also just put in other right here because it basically it isn't that important to actually put in your job role and industry. However, if you find your job role and industry, just do it. It is going to be a little bit easier later on. But for now, I will just click on next and then we will have to put in your com or company name basically. Now this is going to be automatically filled depending on what email you've put in. But either way, just put in your company name and then select how many people currently are working at your company. Now, as for this video, I will just select two to five so that I, will, so that I can actually show you later on how to invite new team guests to our HubSpot account. So just put in your company website right here, click on next and then you will have to select where your data should be hosted. So for me, as I'm actually a EU citizen, I will just select EU right here. However, obviously if your business is located in the US, you can also select it right here. It basically doesn't really matter. Now HubSpot is going to create your account. And now you will have to answer some questions depending on your experience in CRMs. Now, to basically skip the beginner tutorial, I will just select I know my way around HubSpot pretty well. However, if you are a beginner and if you are firstly, uh, and, and basically if it's your first launch with HubSpot, I would recommend you to just stick I have never used a CRM before right here. And then it is going to basically uh, load up an interactive tutorial, which is pretty useful to get started with. But either way, just continue this process and then select select what you want to set up first. So I will just select marketing right here and then we are going to go over all of the other things later on. Now to get started this is how the home is going to look like. Right here you will see basic you will basically see a timeline of what you can do. On the left you can then see all of the sales and so on. Now to get started you can actually do a, customize your profile and preferences right here and then you can upload your image, upload uh, basically uh, upload your phone number customize your name and so on. However, as for this video, I will just leave this at the default and now we can get started on the far left right here with the contacts. Now basically the whole CRM is based around different kind of contacts that you can add to your HubSpot account which you can later then use for SMS route outreach, email outreach and so on. So if you have some contacts on any other platform like ActiveCampaign or basically any other platform, you can actually import your contacts either by just connecting an app as you can see, they offer quite a lot of integrations like MailChimp, Brevo, ActiveCampaign and so on. So either just integrate and connect an other app or just import your to import your contacts using a CSV file, so basically an EXE file, or just import it using an opt-in list. But either way, I will just um, quickly cancel this and I will just manually add my first contact as I don't have a test co a contact list basically. So to do that, I will just head over to create contact right here and then we can actually put in all of our contact details. So as for the email, I will just name this max at gmail.com First name is going to be Max as well. And then uh, I will just say, okay, this is going to be Max Johnson. Now, as for the contact owner, here, right here, you can basically align and basically 
target this contact to a certain owner. I will just leave the, uh, this at the default right here. However, if you have multiple uh, multiple accounts inside your HubSpot dashboard, then you can basically just um, connect these owners right here. As for the job title, you can also put it in as well as phone number, as well as the life cycle stage. Now, as for phone number and job title, this doesn't really matter too much. However, it is actually really important to set the co a correct life cycle stage. So we can just uh, select subscriber lead, marketing qualified lead, sales qualified lead, and so on. Now, as for this video, I will just say that, okay, this Max Johnson is going to be a subscriber. As for lead status, we can then also set that right here. I will just say that this is a new subscriber. Then we can create our contact, and now it is going to be added onto our dashboard. Now, this is going to be the sales overview, which we're going to go into later on. As you can see right now, this is all how the contact dashboard is going to look like. And basically, you can just play around with this. Right here, you can, using this dashboard, you can also just uh, change the lead status and so on. Now, to actually continue with uh, this, you can also set up companies right here, as well as all of the calls right here. However, generally, you're not going to use this that much, so I will not actually go over that over that. Now as for conversations, um, HubSpot is actually going to allow you, so I will just skip this tour right here, and um, HubSpot is going to allow you to set up conversations in quite a lot of different ways. So you can actually just use email to, uh, to basically set up conversations, as well as chat, forms, and also Facebook messengers. So really, I think this is actually quite an attractive feature, because, because they offer quite a lot of ways to communicate, which personally I just want to highlight, which I think personally really is an upside to HubSpot. Now as for marketing, right here you can basically set up all of your ads. Now as you can see, if you have an ad blocker, this isn't going to work. So I will quickly just refresh on my, my site right here. And then we can see that basically we can get started connecting our different kind of ad accounts to HubSpot to then have an overview of everything. And as you can see, once you connect an account, you may be eligible for a 500 US dollars uh, bonus in ad credits, which is also pretty neat. Now, as for the other marketing features, you will actually also be able to set up email marketing using HubSpot. So basically, you can just um, select if you are new to email, if you're going to use MailChimp, or if you're going to use another provider. You can basically just skip this. And as you can see, now basically HubSpot is going to walk you through a setup. However, I will just quickly skip this. And then we can basically create our first email campaign. So we can just set this to regular, automated or blog. And then you will basically just have to repeat this process. Now HubSpot is going to offer quite a lot of neat email marketing templates, which I, I think most of them actually do look pretty good. Now, as HubSpot is kind of an all-in-one email marketing solution, um, these email marketing features may not be as, ad as advanced as tools that are primarily focused at email marketing, like ActiveCampaign and Bravo, for example. However, I think the email marketing features on HubSpot are still really, really good. So if you wanted to, you could actually just create your email right here. And then you will actually be also able to create landing pages inside HubSpot. So just click on get started. Let's just name a test page right here. And then you can set up your landing page. Basically, you can use this in many different ways. You can use this to schedule appointments, but also just for plain lead generation. So let's, for example, say that I want to build up a lead magnet using this ebook offer right here. So I will just click on select template. And now this is going to open up the HubSpot landing page editor. Now, this is going to be a very very similar to most of your email template editors out there. So just select the element that you want to edit and then you can change this. So for example, we can change this to download your free keto diet ebook. Then you can also basically use AI right here. As you can see, if you're going to select a text, uh, this icon right here is going to show up. And then you can use AI to basically just rewrite this, expand this, shorten this, or also change the tone, which I think actually is pretty neat. Now, as for the other features, basically you can see the content right here. 
You can also use these features to optimize your page and you can also run a B test inside HubSpot. Now to actually remove the HubSpot logo from your landing pages, you will have to unlock the premium features using the up, uh, HubSpot CRM suit starter plan. And if we are going to look at the pricing, we can see that HubSpot does offer a free plan, which we are currently on. However, they also do have a starter plan right here at 20 euros per month. And after the starter plan, the plans are actually going to be quite pricey. So if you, for example, are going to um, look at the service hub plan right here. We can see that as for the professional plan, this is going to be at 441 euros per month. And then as for the enterprise plan, this is going to be at 1,180 euros per month. So really this is quite a lot of money and to get started, I would actually recommend you to just go with the starter plan or just stick with the uh, free plan. And if you actually think that this is worth the investment, then you can go for a professional plan. However, Hotspot actually also allows you to just start a free trial for 14 days, which you can also do once again my link is down below but no hard feelings if you're going to just upload uh, if you're just going to sign up either way so once you're ready with your landing page you can just save this however i will just exit to not actually waste your time now as for the other features hubspot actually recently in a uh, I think recently introduced this prospecting feature where you can basically um, start connecting your Gmail or, or Outlook account and you can then do outreach using our using HubSpot basically uh, to find different kind of companies that you can work for and so on. Now as for your deals, this is going to be similar to Trello for example or basically to any CRM app out there. So to get started, you can just head over to the top right right here and you can click on create deal. Now this is going to basically set up your pipeline uh, however i would actually recommend you to actually just click on i'll set it up myself right here so that you will have full control over all of your pipeline settings and so on ah, sorry so as for the deal name right here we can just name this so let's just name this john I don't know, I'm just making a, I'm just ma making anything up right now. And then as for the pipeline, we can actually add another pipeline right here. So this is actually going to be paid. Sorry, my bad. However, we will just have we can also just stick with the normal sales pipeline right here. This isn't going to be a problem. However, as I use the paid plan on my personal account, I'm used to creating a new pipeline. However, just stick with the sales pipeline right here. As for the deal stage, you can also set that right here. So basically you can select appointment scheduled, qualified to buy, presentation scheduled, and so on. So you can also set this to closed and so on. However, I will just stick this to appointment scheduled right now. And by the way, if you find this video helpful and if you want more CRM based tutorials, make sure to like and subscribe. It would really mean, mean the world to me. Now as for amount right here, you will obviously just have to put in how much the deal is about. So let's say this is going to be $1,500. And then you will also have to set the close date. Now it is super important to actually set the close date as this is going to be way more organized later on. So let's just say that the close date for this is going to be the 20th of, um, of October, basically. We can also select the deal owner, deal type. So let's say this is a new business and the priority. All right, perfect. If you want to, we can also associate other people inside our contacts with this to basically just build up a functioning workflow with other people inside that workflow. So I will just click on create. And as you can see, now we have our own sales pipeline and our own sales edit. And if now we will, now we will basically see the overview of this contact of this John Deere right here. So if we're going to click on it, we're going to see this preview. And if we're now going to change the stage, we could do that by just using this ticker right here and we can just say okay this is closed one and now the deal stage is closed and we can also see all of the recent communication contacts and companies inside this deal right here so as you can see uh, the amount is uh, you can also see a preview from this right here and if you are going to look at the tasks right here we can also basically subdivide all of our tasks and all of our um, all of our goals essentially using the HubSpot test tool and you can also automatically sync this up with your Google or Outlook calendar which is also super useful in my opinion so basically you can just see all of the schedules and all of the appointments inside your Google calendar using the integration you will also get tons of other features like documents, 
um, payments and so on. However, these are pretty self-explanatory, so I will not actually just go over them as of right now. However, if you want me to make a separate video on these settings, let me know in the comments. Now, as for the service, you can actually also set up tickets. Now, either way, if you would want to outsource this or not, you can just create a new ticket right here, and you can then set everything up the way you want to, to actually create a support team and to actually add support to your clients. Now, as for automations, this is paid. However, I still want to mention this. Right here, you can basically automate all of your follow-ups using different kind of workflows and different kind of automations also known as email automations now basically i'm really a fan of this now i come from an email marketing background and i have to say that i think these workflows are actually pretty powerful now they aren't the most advanced workflows out there but they're pretty much are going to get the job done now you can also see all of the reporting and all of the analytics right here if you want to and you can also see the overall dashboard where you can see all of your overviews all of your email overviews all of your marketing overviews and so on so you can just create this dashboard right here and then this is going to be set up and you can then access this dashboard where you are then going to see all of the different data that you have put in inside of the contacts or inside of the deals um, beforehand now as for reports, right here you will then also see everything that basically has been done inside your HubSpot, uh, HubSpot dashboard. Now that's basically it for this video. If you have any more questions, as always, you can leave them in the comments down below and I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you for watching and make sure to like and subscribe if you found this video helpful.